Hey guys, welcome back. How are we all doing today? You know what I was thinking? I could really do with some more light in here whilst I'm filming today. So I thought I'll open my shutter. Hmm, well, yeah, it's kind of stuck, isn't it? <laughs> I've got it stuck before, to be honest, and I've managed to get it back up, probably with the help of somebody else. But it's very, very stiff. Like, I can just about get it down, but getting it back up again is a different matter. I could really do with a nice strong man right now. Not that women aren't capable, but, you know. Um, my dad did make me a hook to pull my shut up and down and I've actually like bent the hook you can see I'm trying to do it so that was a fail never mind we'll manage with what we've got okay so today exciting times we have a delivery I will admit that I already opened the box because I'm impatient but I have ordered some new camera kit that's going to help me with my filming and everything and in case you didn't already know my sister is getting married next week well this week actually on Friday and I've offered to film the whole thing yay well, I say the whole thing it's not going to be a film of the whole wedding but I'm going to make a little kind of movie out of it film lots of bits and bobs and that kind of thing so I decided that I needed a little bit more camera kit just to get me started. So today is going to be a little unboxing to show you what I've got. I've just got a couple of things. I've already bought extra batteries, so I'm definitely going to need them, and a really big memory card for my camera, which I haven't touched yet. I've put it aside specifically for my sister's wedding, so I know what I'm like. I'll end up filling it with videos before the day even comes. So, First thing I've got is a mini tripod, which I already had one of these, but it wasn't really sturdy enough for my DSLR. So this one looks a bit better, and this is going to be great actually for my YouTube videos, especially when I want to do more of a vlog, so it means I can hold my camera a little bit easier. To be honest, this camera is not actually ideal for vlogging because it's just so big but you can do it this brand is photo pro i just got it off amazon because it had like really good reviews and from what i see it has like a little remote which is pretty good and i think that means you can set it up and then use a remote to take pictures or whatever it's going to be very handy because I don't tend to have any help when I'm like filming or doing photos so it can be quite difficult trying to manage things when you're on your own here we go oh okay cool and I guess you can bend these as well yeah you can amazing so you can position it in all sorts of places I did used to have one of those um like gorilla pod type things it's one of those mini ones which I mostly used for my phone but I did find that it would like just slide flat like the legs would just sort of I don't know they would just bend when you didn't want them to or it would like fall forward so this one looks a little bit more sturdier so I might set it up now and I'll show you what it's like okay so I'm just back to filming on my phone for a second so that I can show you got a little tripod set up there it's really cool I like it so it's good because you can actually like move it around on here to different angles and then obviously use that to tighten it. Um, there are some other bit. I'm not sure what this is for another little attachment. You've got this one here if you want to use it for your phone. So that's definitely going to be pretty handy as well. And then we have got this little remote which I'm not sure how you use that. Hopefully there are some instructions on here for people like me who are just incapable. Um, maybe if I turn my camera on, I will figure that out. Okay, I think this is actually a better position for doing my videos. I've worked out how to use this remote with the camera on my phone, so. Hey, there we go. But I don't know how to use it with my actual camera yet. I'm assuming you can, 
But hey, we'll figure that out another time. I'm sure there's a tutorial out there somewhere. You know what, I've just realised I always have so much random stuff in the background of my videos, like this, which I just found outside my shop one day. I thought he was the Michelin man, but I think he's from Ghostbusters, apparently. I was thinking to sell him on eBay, but he's kind of become part of the decor. <laughs> I had some girls come in yesterday with their mum because she ordered a cake for their birthday party. And they were like, Claire, why do you have so many toys? I was like, I don't know. They just sort of collect in the shop. Um, and I just put them on the back shelves. But you know what? I kind of like it. It makes my shop a little bit quirky. <laughs> okay, next. We have got MCM1 directional video camera microphone. Superb sound for audio and video recording. This brand is Mookie, which I've never heard of before, to be honest. But you know what? I thought I'd try it. I was going to get the Rode camera microphone because that's the one which I don't know it's quite a well-known brand and you always see it in like other youtubers videos and stuff but I spotted this one on Amazon and it was a cheaper price and you know what I'm a girl on a budget so I thought I would give it a go it got fairly good reviews to be honest so you know we'll try it okay we're in Oh, yes! It's got one of these fluffy things. I always wanted one of them. <laughs> That's so random, isn't it? I always wanted a fluffy thing to go on my camera. Uh, it's like a little sound muffler thing that you put on top. That'll be good when I'm outside and it's windy. And then we've got another bit that goes on it, I guess. And then... Oh, what a nice little bag. I quite like the packaging, actually. I'm always impressed by nice packaging got the microphone in here let's see to be honest I don't think this will make a huge difference to the sound quality on this camera that I'm using now but it will make a massive difference when I want to use like my phone for vlogging so I know a few people have commented on the sound quality so I can attach this to my phone and it's just going to be a lot better so it's very small, which is what I expected, to be honest. And there's two cables, and maybe one is for your camera, and one's for your phone. Yeah, this one says for your phone, and then I guess this one is for your camera. So I think I'll do a test on my phone, and we can see what the difference is in the sound quality. Okay, so this is a video on my phone without the microphone plugged in. In the next clip, we can see what the sound quality is like with it plugged in. Okay, so now we have the microphone plugged in. Can you tell a difference? I'm not going to know until I watch this back and edit it, probably. Very curious. The other thing is, I don't know where to put this on my phone. Like, it's got a little screwy thing, which can go into a tripod but like I, I, don't, I don't know what to do with it hello god I've got a lot to learn haven't I <laughs> okay so now this is filming with my camera and the microphone plugged in it's on top I'll show you I'll do a little clip on my phone to show you where I've put it here we go this is the setup with the microphone on my camera it sits nicely on top which I'm very pleased about very compact and nice and light. Perfect. Does it make any difference? I don't know. Maybe if I go up really close. Testing, testing, one, two, three. <laughs> but either way, it's going to be great for my phone. I'll maybe give you like another proper review of this in a couple of weeks once I've used it for a bit and definitely once I have filmed this wedding which I'm kind of excited slash nervous. I'm just going to have fun with it to be honest because I want to be able to enjoy my sister's wedding day as well. Like I am a guest at the wedding. This is not something she's 
really asked me to do or I'm getting paid for or anything. It's just something I offer to do because I wanted to and I want to practice filming and getting better at this whole like videography thing. You know, I'm very much a newbie but I'm interested and keen to learn more. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here because I kind of want to go outside and enjoy a bit of the sunshine. I haven't been out much recently. I've got a really hectic couple of weeks coming up, so I'm going to be in the kitchen a lot, getting all these cakes out. And of course, with my sister's wedding and everything, there is a lot going on. So I'm going to make the most of a little bit of downtime, even if it's just for an hour or so. If you want to find out more about any of this kit that I've bought or buy it for yourself, I'm going to link both the microphone and the mini tripod in the description below. This is not a sponsored video or anything, like, it would be amazing if I was getting sponsored. But it's just random purchases that I've made which I'm pretty pleased with, so I thought I'd share them with you too. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a different one, but you know, I like to mix things up a little bit now and again. If you did like it, go and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so I can continue to make more content for you guys. And of course, if you have any questions about what I do or just things you wanna tell me, pop them in the comments below or come and say hello to me over on Instagram. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.